No one can get as close to Hunter as you guys. Do you think he's still active? Yeah, of course he's still active. I mean, the guy's been doing it for years. I'd say he's guilty as hell. DEA has a top echelon informant that tipped him off trying to set you up. Your brother and Freddy ripped us off big time. What? I don't know whether to give you a big hug or punch you right in the fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you trying to set us up for? Freddy, put your stupid fucking ass in jail in India in the first place. Kevin's not a criminal. No, that's just, you're wrong about that. As long as he's breaking the law, he's a criminal. And whether it's me or DEA or FBI or customs, it doesn't matter. Eventually, he's going to get caught. And you better hope, for the sake of your son, you, and your little girl, you better hope it's me. I want to apologize publicly to my Indeed. teammates. He's a world-class athlete. Management. We have two gold medal Olympic family, teams, friends, league MVP. Especially Led the commanders to two championships in I a row. I spent the last year and a half thinking wife. about the mistakes on. I made. Yeah, that don't have shit to do with nothing. <laughs> He's on parole now. I accept full responsibility for my role in the events that led to the tragic death of a young man. I've served my time, and now I want to get on with my career and my life. You see, he's sorry. Thank you. They're all sorry. So, Peter, Everybody makes mistakes. Well, matter of fact, well, he asked about all just don't did. expect me to kiss his ass and, just uh, because he can dribble a ball. Guys are pretty mm -hmm. good. They, uh, Get ready to buck around. Teammates a little run for the money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the commanders haven't won a championship since you went away, yeah? Think you can change that? Yes. This year. This year. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Well, you remember how I always used to say I was going to get my pilot's license? I do. What happened, man? Things we say we're going to do. I was thinking we should get a plane, go in on one of those fractional ownership deals. It's a good idea. It could be good cover. That way we get the money out of the country, and we'd have to get the pilot in on it. Psycho Sandy! That was a fight. You had a good Hello, time? Bumpy. No problem. How you doing? Good to see you. All right. It's my brother, Pete. Hey, Pete. What's going on? Where to next? I'm going to be sending you someplace called Trois Rivers, Quebec. You know where that is? Three Rivers. 4,000 feet paved. No problem. What about security? Oh, we got you covered. Just don't be filing any flight plans, right? Uh, <laughs> what am I taking? Cash going, cash coming back. Here's 50K, right? It's a down payment for your services. And why are we doing it? Well, here's a little something extra. Let's just consider yourself on call, right? Yeah, cool. So, well, yeah, we'll be fine next year. Yeah, but Peter, will you be fine? <laughs> Joel, you just asked that question two seconds ago. All right, guys, I think that's enough. Come on, let's wrap it up, all thanks, right? Thanks, Pete. Pete, I'll see you upstairs in a couple of minutes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Hello, Mr. Sampson. It's nice to meet you. Um, I'm Officer D. Mulhern. I'm your parole officer. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, sure. I'm, um, I'm James Liberty. How are you doing, partner? James nice to meet you, fan. too. Big fan. Oh, I was nice going to bring up basketball or something for you to sign, but Excuse then Excuse me. Maybe next time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. Listen, um, let me uh, break things down for you here. I've made arrangements for you to come to the office after hours mm -hmm. um, so we can avoid any scenes. Sure, with the sure. Potential. Yeah. You know, Thank you. Hands. Um, you should know from the get-go this is probably the only time that you're going to get special treatment from me. No, yeah, that's fine. Look, I'm not looking for any concessions because of who I am. Okay, I know you have a job to do, and I uh, just want it to go smoothly for smooth. both of us, both of that's us. That's good. Smooth. All right, smooth. That's right, smooth. Great. All right. All right. Take care. Nice to meet you. All right. My pleasure. Nice, nice to meet you. you. All, All right. right. Good luck this season. Thank you. Number three. I know it. <laughs> so, how was that? How was what? Kissing his ass. It was smooth. Mm. smooth. Very can smooth. Get, can you get Caesar's tickets? Who is it? Yeah. Pete? 
Yes, Pete. Open up. Come on in, man. Come on in. You alone? Everybody's fucking alone. Is this it? That's it. bucks. You all good on this? It's all here? It's all there. You think sure? I just got to check, man. Check away. Wow. Now you can pay for your hotel bill. Finally. Finally? Thank you. Finally what? Thank Kevin. If you hadn't fucked up, this would have happened a long time ago. Oh, it come on. Profits, like... Pete, come on. You know I'm sorry, man. I know I fucked up. You know I was trying to just stop us from getting busted or killed. Come on. You want to, uh, you want a drink? No. It's really, it's beautiful. Just go ahead. I can have one. Come on, man. So... Is, is Kevin good with this? Like, is he okay? What? No, he's pissed. Like, I'm pissed. Like, your sister and your father are pissed. We're the pissed off at Goldie Club. I don't want you to get too comfortable here, Stephen. You understand? What I said is true. Freddy's gonna whack you when this is over. You understand that? We're gonna do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, but that's his intent. Listen, you got any herb, man? Are you listening to a word I'm saying? Yeah, I'm listening. He's gonna kill you. Yeah, I fucking know that, okay? I don't yes, want to think about that right now. Yeah, I want to fucking join because I gotta calm down, man. Come on, Pete. I just, I gotta chill out, man. I'm going crazy here. Excellent. You want one? No, thank you. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Are you a fucking idiot? You're sitting on a million bucks. You're gonna smoke? I'm just not thinking straight, man. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll smoke on the balcony. Pete. What? You gotta trust me. No, I do not have to trust you. I do not trust you. Turn it. I'm sorry for slapping you around, but I will not hesitate to do it again if you fuck up. Okay? Listen to me. Put this in your head, okay? Freddy is the enemy. Say it back to me. Freddy is the enemy. Exactly. He's a fucking enemy. Yeah, he's a fucking enemy. So when I leave, you call him up, and you tell him this is the deal. All of it goes down within the next couple days. Next couple of days. Okay. Or you are fucked. Come on, Pete. I'll let myself out. Come on. Goodbye. Pete, come on. Thanks. 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 What's the deal? You really lock someone up if their piss comes back dirty? Someone or you? Oh, the rules are different for me, huh? No, that's where you're wrong, Hunter. The rules are the same for everybody. I'm talking about pot. Do you really lock me up if my piss came back dirty for pot? You trying to tell me something? Yeah, why do we, like, you know, as in the universal, give a shit if I smoke pot? Because it's illegal. What, that wasn't satisfactory to you? Come on. You making any money? You know, I'm doing all right. What are these deposits? Here and here. Uh, those would be commissions from paintings I sold. Really? Yep. Wow. It's hard to believe people still have money to buy art in this economy. Hey man, this is the day when bargains can be found. I mean, not just in the art market, either. Right. Well, that's if you have the money to begin with, don't you think? You don't have any other accounts, do you? You know, like in the Cayman Islands, Switzerland, maybe. Well, you tell me if you did, right? Yeah. I mean, I would have to, right? Right. So you're still thinking of moving? Well, we're kind of on the fence. I mean, we, we did look at a few places in, in the area, actually. And uh, I think we're going to wait till after the baby is born. Boy, I understand that. That's what? Now, a couple months, right? Yeah. It's getting close. Hunter, let me ask you a question. Didn't all that time away make any impression on you? Oh, you're damn right it did. It did? Yeah. 
Did you enjoy it? Well, it had its moments. Really? Yeah. Waking up in bed next to your wife, did you miss that? Every minute of every day. And your boy? Growing up without a dad, I mean, that must have been tough on him, you know? Now you're expecting another one. I mean, you want to be there for, for your family, don't you? Yeah, man. Every minute of every day. But you can't stop yourself, is that it? What are we talking about? Because I understand it. Compulsion. You just got to get back into the game. Oh, where the hell is Liberty? Hey, sorry. Sorry I'm late. So, guys, I guess you get it by now. Skurs is on sick leave and may not be back. I've been interviewing candidates to take his place, and in the meantime, we're all going to have to pick up the slack. All right. What was going on with him? Chief's looking into it. Looking into, looking into what? He raped her, we know it. She killed herself, she was so messed up about it. Yeah, well, that's the problem, the, the woman is dead. <sighs> no one to press criminal charges. That's right. Anyway, Chase will return from uh, training in a week. I'll continue to handle some of the caseload, help you guys out, and uh, till we all get back to speed. All right, Jimmy, talk to me about Kevin Hunter. <sighs> cool as a cucumber. Puts me right in the face and lies his ass off. I'm getting into his financials with the IRS. I mean, if I had a little bit more time, then yeah, I'd be... well, you don't. Just do what you can. <clears throat> did you meet with Peter Sampson? Yes, I did. He's a very charming man. <laughs> and and um, he'll be here later after the unwashed hordes have gone home. Hello. Hey, baby. You need help? I did some shopping. Oh, yeah? Good. Just a little bit. How are you feeling? Good. Hi. Hey, sweetie. Oh, sweet. It's a bit big, but it's so cute. So cute. So, um, <clears throat> we need to decide, Daddy to be, how we want to birth this baby. Gonna do the boyer, midwife, underwater. Or... Well, I mean, if I were a woman, I would definitely do it underwater. That's what makes sense to me. Yeah. Don't you think? Well, I think I would like to do it here with a midwife. Yeah. Yeah. What, like no doctor? Well, no, we'll have a doctor. She'll be on call, and then if there's any complications, we'll just she can get here. All right. I mean, ultimately, I want to do what makes you happy. You know, I mean, I'll be there to serve. You know why you married me? Well, I mean, I think I do. Because I know you better than anyone else. Okay. I'll accept that. And right now you're full of shit. I mean, of everybody, who do you trust? I trust you. Then let me help you. You're right. You sure you want to know all this? Yes. You know I can help you. Basically, I'm just trying to get back what's ours, okay? With as little friction as possible. From Stevie? Yeah, but I mean, he's an idiot. It's, it's, he's a pawn, it's Freddy. And Freddy's dangerous? Yeah, I mean, it turns out. But if the plan goes the way I think it's gonna go, he's not gonna have any idea what happened until it's over. Is it worth it? The way I figure, at a minimum, it's about $40 million. Forty? 
take the floor out. Is it worth it? Fuck yeah. Partner? Total. He's a, he's a huge fan of yours. Okay, now remember to tell your grandson commanders are going all the way next year, all right? Have a good night, sir. Officer Mulhern, I see you again. Right, yes. Okay, shall we go inside? All right. All right. It's to your left there. Okay, you have to report to me any changes in your living arrangements. I'll be doing uh, home contacts. And finally, a special condition imposed by the judge. I'll read it. He's ordering you not to have any contact whatsoever with the East Side Street Gang or any other street gang in person, by telephone or mail. This includes being prohibited from wearing their gang colors or symbols and using or displaying any gang signs. Miss Mulhern, do I look like a gang banger to you? I'm looking at your file. Maybe you should look at me. Sign it, dated. And uh, please, I'll need a copy of your team schedule. You need permission from me to leave for any away games. So you're gonna be keeping pretty close tabs on me, huh? That's my job, mate. Well, I don't have a problem with that, but you should be warned that they draw a crowd. As long as none of that crowd is from your old East Side posse. Look, I grew up in it. I was never really a part of it. Seems like to me, the way some athletes act, they trade one gang for another. I wouldn't deny the similarities. Both wear colors. Both striving for similar things. Identity, recognition, a sense of belonging, a little love, some discipline, some respect. You forgot beating the competition. Literally. Or should I say, shooting the competition in the head? Well, getting in that car will be a mistake I regret for the rest of my life. Just getting in the car? Not joining up with the gang in the first place? I, look, I am not a part of the Siders. Okay, I was too busy playing basketball to get involved with that stuff. Just keep it that way. We should have no problems. We're not going to have any problems, Miss Mulhorn. Good. That's all. You can go now. I'm dismissed. Wow. Kind of feels a little bit like elementary school. That may be true. Only we're grown-ups, and uh, detention can be a bitch. You know, it's about fucking time, too. You got your money. Hello, Stephen. Jasmine? Jasmine? You're surprised to see me. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, uh... <laughs> what the hell is all this? What, are you moving in here? I'm here for you, Stephen. To help you. Furries wanted me to make sure you're happy and very well looked after. Oh. <laughs> okay. You have something for Furries? Yeah. Yeah, I do. you came for? When will we get the rest? You can have three or four million as soon as I get the rest of the hash. If it's all lined up, people are ready. Faris will be very happy to hear that. I'm sure he will. When are you going to notify the post office about your change of address, James? I already did. Should take effect in a couple of days. This place is a wreck. Yeah, I noticed that. You know what? We really have to decide. I need someone for the start of next week. So what are we picking, Flora or Wilma? Yeah, no, 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 we will. We'll decide. No, James, today, please. 
And we're also going to pay for it. Well, I'm going to pay for it, Flora or Wilma. I'll, I'll pay for it. I thought we could split it. No, I, they're my kids. I'll pay for it. I, I don't want you following I have my own money right? now. Well, you got the job? Yeah. I think. I mean, I have to meet with one more partner, and as long as he doesn't hate me, I think I've got it. Well, I'm sure he'll love you, so it won't be a problem. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's a really good firm. I'm excited about it. I'll tell you what. When you start making the money, then you can contribute. Until then, I'll pay. Flora or Wilma. Why don't we do odds and evens? Odds I have evens. evens. Yeah, I have evens. Whoever wins gets to choose a nanny. Best two out of three. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, let's okay. go. This is important. I know, you always win this, but right. go ahead. Once, twice, three, shoot. One for me, ready? Once, twice, three, shoot. Ooh, <laughs> ready? Once, twice, three, shoot. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Look at that. That's funny. All right, so who are you going to pick? Wilma or Flora? I don't know. You choose. You think Faris had this in mind when he sat for her? Absolutely. The best way to control a man is through his dick. Yeah, but we survived, and now... Oh! deliver the hash, then think of us going to California. <sighs> you know what? what? I think I'm going to take you somewhere we've both never been before. I got a couple of questions for you, Pia. Okay, Peter. Do you like fucking me? Actually, I really like fucking you. Really. A lot. Number two. You ever think of killing anybody? Yeah, all the time. Okay, but if it was serious, if it came down to it, and it was you or them, could you pull the trigger? Why are you thinking of killing someone? I might be. Who? Dwayne. Dwayne. Forget about that guy. He's just a pathetic drunk. He's got a kid. You love kids, remember? He stole from me. Are you sure? It was either him or you, because I've been stole from. Two cans, 20 kilos, 300 grand. Oh, shit. Fucking asshole. And my fear is that he's out there trying to sell it. And if he gets popped, I'm fucked. He's a knob. He'd roll over in a second. He'd rat us out. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. You could always just say you, you didn't know what was in the basement. And it'd be his word against yours, but... I'd be done. So would Kevin. That's all the feds would need. Are you serious? No. 
I'm just fucking around. Good boy, Caesar. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You look fantastic. Yeah, you ready to fly? You ready to fly, buddy? Huh? Yeah, you look good. What are you looking for? You looking for a rabbit or something? You looking for a rabbit? Huh? You ready to go? This trip is a total clusterfuck, man. What are we doing here? Look, Pete, just chill out. We got no choice, all right? Dwayne is a problem that has to be dealt with. Yeah, and I thought you said you were going to deal Don't with it. Don't bust my balls, so what Kevin. What the fuck? You I told me you were going to handle Fine. it. Fine, so... I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to take him out. You know what? You heard me. What the fuck is with you, man? What are you doing? Smack what again? Fuck Come here, man. It. Take him out. I'll smack what buddy. I got take him out. Oh, you fucking... Yo! You see that? That's your bird? Yeah, he's in training. He fucked up. What is it, a falcon? Yeah, it's a falcon. Good to see you, Kevin. You Life look great. Lifestyles of the rich and famous, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. It's Peter. my brother, Pete. Donnie Parawana. Rhymes with marijuana. That and piranha. <laughs> this here's a violation of the conditions of our parole, Kev. Well, so's my vocation, Donnie. What's up? I understand you owe me some money. How do you figure that? Are you working? Didn't I hear that? So? So? Listen, Kevin, what you do that I don't know about, that's your business. But you want to work in my backyard, you got to do the right thing. Hey, Donnie, man, all due respect, this got nothing to do with you guys. Come on. Kevin, I don't think you understand here. Everything that goes on down at those docks has to do with me, my people. I got people I got to answer to. I mean, this shit goes down. They come to me and they ask, where's our end? What the fuck am I supposed to tell Dude, them? where's my end? I got nothing. I got ripped off. I lost two-thirds of the fucking load. All the more reason that you should know, if you're with me, this kind of bullshit doesn't happen. You understand? Okay? Now, this is the way it's got to go down. You pay me, what, a million dollars. I understand you like that figure. For what? I don't understand. For protection. What, against who, you? Against everybody else. For example, the fuck that ripped you off. I got a better idea. You wanna make more than a million bucks? Always. Yes! Yes! Hopefully you'll last the season. First game's on Friday. Yeah, I know. You guys know that Peter Sampson's on parole, don't you? Peter Sampson's on parole? Let me guess who his parole officer was. Is it you, Dad? Uh, it's... Ta-da! D? <laughs> really? Have you met him? Yeah. Yeah, she's met him. A couple of times, you know. Your dad met him. Dad, why didn't you tell us? Tell you what? Can you get his autograph? Yeah, can we get his autograph? Yeah, yeah can you get a copy of his monthly supervision report? <laughs> Dad, can we go to a game? Dad, can we go to a game? Can we go to a game? Can we get tickets? Can we get tickets, huh? You. Huh? Yeah. Good for that. Cool. Huh. Let's do this. Yeah, three-pointer. It's an east side, you idiot. Right. Now, this is the moment, east What's the east siders? It's a game. Sam, Sam, Sam. Why don't you stay? Come on. <laughs> no, I lost my appetite. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. Sure? I got plenty. Hello, and you are... Is Peter Sampson here? No. I'm Officer Dee Mulher, and I'm Peter's parole officer. You didn't tell me you were a woman. I don't know where he is or when he'll be home. You're Mrs. Sampson. Yeah, sometimes. Well, he does live here. I have to verify that this is, in fact, where Peter lives. It's part of the job. Yeah, well, um... You may catch him here once in a while. 
Some honeymoon. Gentlemen. Alan. Jim, this is Alan Cohen, assistant U.S. attorney. Alan is with the Organized Crime Task Force. This is James Liberty, Hunter's parole officer. Officer Liberty, I've heard a lot about you. Oh, not from this guy. Hey, come on now. I'm down with this new mutual admiration society. Really? <laughs> Jimmy here knows uh, more than the rest of us put together about Kevin Hunter. Do you know who this is? Oh, he looks familiar. O.C., right? Yeah, I think he's under supervision in the Eastern District. Michael Parawana. Right. Made man. What's that got to do with Kevin Hunter? I was hoping you could tell me. Hunter and his brother Peter had a meeting with Parawana. Surprise, surprise. We're talking about a different criminal element here. Our informants tell us Parawana is vying for control of the soft drug distribution in this region. Really? Oh, yeah. The mob's been trying to tie up the pot market for decades. They haven't been able to. They don't have the distribution. There's an estimated 50 million regular marijuana smokers in this country. It's a huge business. You think Hunter's thrown in with organized crime? That's interesting. Peter Sams. Pops and Bullhorn. <laughs> See what you got. Nice, nice. <laughs> You've been throwing gang signs on TV. That's not gang signs. This is how we shoot out the hood. Come on. Try it again. If you in a gang. Oh, oh. We need that back, boy. Yeah, yeah. Nah, see, look. When you're from the east side, that's what we do. That's how we do it. Not you. Not anymore. Okay, then I'll tell you what. How about I just, like, wave? Or, no, you know what? Better yet, I'll do, like, a peace sign. I don't care. How do you drop the pants? You can move. I don't give a... There's no more... No more gang signs. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <Play> this... <laughs> you have to ask? Yeah. Dude. You didn't see that phenomenal... See what you got. You want to see what I got? Yeah. Oh, brother, you don't want to deal with this. Come on. Yes, boy. Come on now. Get up. Don't act like you hurt. <laughs> you gonna make me lace them up. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? You know what? Hold on one second. You know, we gonna finish this. Come on. Peter. And who are you? I mean, I'm just trying out for the team. Is that right? What position are you playing? I like top. What about you? You like top? Girl, do you know who you're messing with? Who is this? Whoa! Hey. I'm his parole officer. Relax, girlfriend. Peter! No more of that. You hear? I got you. You trading me in or something? What's up? I can't tell. I can't take this anymore. Fucking call. Call. Steven. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Eat something. You need the energy. I I can't. I, I, I can't fucking eat. I'm too nervous. I can't. I, I fucking hate this. I can't eat. I hate this fucking waiting game. You know. That's Doug Moses, right there. He had Samson's back. Samson knows how to survive. And who do we have here? It's Moses' wife, Malika. She's a gang girl. Moses' conduit to the streets. Samson's been east sider since he was 11. Moses is his boy. When things got real heavy, Moses stepped in and took the fall for Samson. Hmm. Sounds biblical. It is. I take it that you think Samson was a shooter. That's the word in here. Is that so? Who are you? 
Dean Mulhern, U.S. parole officer. Parole officer. So I must have forgot to tell you, I got life with no parole. So I hear. Have a seat. I don't talk to no law enforcement. I'm Peter Sampson's parole officer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got mad love for Peter. Walking ball. Yeah. It's hard to imagine a guy like that getting mixed up in a gang shooting. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know how they do us. Prosecutors want a superstar collar. Yeah. Peter asked you to look out for him? Didn't have to. That's how we do. One of your own. Peace sense? Hell yeah. We cut up in Arizona City. They did something to protect the command. Just at the east side, one out. So he's a member? So I didn't even say that shit, now did I? But you ventriloquist now? Don't put words in my mouth. Peter's Peter. Just a brother out there trying to do his thing, get his paper. Why are you trying to stir up shit for him? Oh, I'm not. No, please. No, no, no. Peter does that really well by himself. So what about your wife, Malika? Oh, Peter. Yeah, Malika. Is Peter at business with her? Fuck you, business? Yeah. You're not sending him messages through her, are you? Where are you getting this shit from? No, I mean, that's just how you do. I ain't sending nothing to Peter. Thank you. It's been real. Appreciate it. On the whole, we ain't done yet. What the fuck you know Malik? You know, you're right about one thing. That boy... He sure can ball. Revoking Peter Sampson's parole. <laughs> the guy's fucking Doug Moses' wife. Yeah, well, infidelity is not uh, grounds for violation. Okay, this is not just some hoe he's banging. She's the wife of the leader of the East Side crew. It's not gonna happen, Dean, none of this. Malika Moses runs messages from her husband to his homeboys on the street. Jailhouse grapevine has it that Moses took the fall for Sampson in this murder beef. Peter Sampson is in it up to his seven foot eyebrows. What is he, untouchable? He brings in too much revenue into the city. Does. Oh, shit. Those gang signs on national TV make us look like fucking fools. And if it was anybody else with Samson's gang affiliations, they'd be off the street so fast their dick would still be wet. There's a the return of Peter Samson. Don't go. Hey. I'm James Liberti. I remember you, Mr. Liberti. Mrs. Liberti has gone out. Uh, the boys are watching TV and Sarah's asleep. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. What's going on? Watching the game. Sweet. Who's winning? Yeah, Samson. You're watching Samson, huh? Yes, he's Whoa. Yeah, the commanders are leading. 
Did you see that? All right. Where's mommy? She went out for dinner. See that? Yeah. Right. He's gonna slam it. With who? I don't know. He shoots. Oh, so close. Sweet. Scores. You see that, Dad? Mrs. Sampson, meet me again. Nice to see you. It's a good game. You mind? I'm not really watching up. <sighs> Mrs. Sampson. Do you know who Doug Moses is? I know who Doug is. I've never met him. You know, he's a gang leader. Doing life with no parole for murder. Yeah. I've heard all the stories. Do you know his wife, Malika? Should I? All right, listen. If Peter wants to continue his basketball career and you want to keep your lifestyle peter needs to stay away from malika moses and anyone from the east side gang tell him he's not going to listen to me yeah i'll do that hey baby hey Mwah. okay everybody stay cool and this is a memory fuck up and you're all memories what the fuck is this man let's have your pieces guys Shut the fuck up, Goldie. We need your fucking pieces. What the fuck? Come on, fuck! Oh, oh. Fuck. Oh. Come on, Shit. you fuck. Oh, fuck. Enjoy the game? Come on, lady, what the fuck do you want? If you want to hang around Samson, you better get used to seeing my face. Why don't you go harass some child molester or something? Leave Peter and me alone. He ain't gonna give you no trouble. I understand that your husband has a lot of respect for Peter. Had his back when we were together. Where? How do you think he'd feel about all this? What are you talking about, my husband? You don't think I know who your husband is, Mrs. Moses? He may be in prison, but he ain't dead. And Peter better hope he doesn't go back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all hope. Peter makes it out here, don't we? <laughs> Probably go. Para want to pop the dude. What? He almost fucking killed me. Shut, Shut up, up hey. Goldie. Okay, fuck. Wait, come on. I'll tell what you. What are you talking about? I'll tell you later. Go. Absolutely, and he, a tremendous effort from Powell as well, and Barry uh, backed and stamps it up. They were good. Powell was good for, uh, was it 12 points? I have now at five assists and two rebounds. Just an incredible effort by all involved. Really, Samson makes those guys look so much better than they are. For the Congress beat. I'm starting to find my rhythm now. Hey, Samson! Are those Samson starting? I think Barry. I think I'm going to go. Everything was set. It was a great night. Yeah, it was a great night. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah, absol
you know, their games get off. But, you know, that's what's going to make us great. I need a Morrison. Thank you. Okay, give me a second, guys. <laughs> you know, you're starting to take this too far, Mo, huh? Yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> came real strong. Thank you. It was impressive. Yeah. You want an autograph? Yeah, man, you big star. Big star, big... It's your world. Sure. But you know, in my world, you're on parole. And you will play by my rules. You don't want your boy Doug Moses to know about Malika. You go back inside, you find out you're doing his old lady. I wouldn't want to be you. Great. Well, I'll have a look at it and I'll get it back to you. It's been a long time since I wrote it. Yeah. How long? <laughs> hey, what's going on here? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Excuse me, what am I doing here? Who are you? James. I'm, James. I'm George. Don't, yeah. What are you doing? I'm asking Please, him a don't question. Do that. Who are you? Don't, excuse me, answer I'm my George. question. Yeah. What I are you know doing who he is. here? Who, who this, am I? This is my yeah. husband. Who am I? Who are yeah, you? I'm the excuse me? I'm the husband. This is George. He's the partner in the law firm that I'd like to work for. He wanted to read the law review that I wrote. I'm going to go. I'll call you. OK. It was really great meeting you. Thanks for dinner, George. James. I don't know what it is with you. I mean, one minute you act like you're getting on with your life, and then the next you're in the hallway sort of stalking me. I know. I'm insane. I admit it. I don't know. I just. This is going to take some getting used to. Uh, Just the thought of you with another man it drives me crazy. Lost souls are calling. Blue 